Feminazi! Opening your eyes to the lies of social justice. It's so interesting how Black Lives Matter supporters seem to think that the law doesn't apply to them whenever the law applying to them would be inconvenient. What's a public place? A public place might be the sidewalk, the street, a town square, or a park. The courthouse steps, you get the idea. These places are places where you can expect to be recorded by anyone and you can't do anything about it. A private place would be a home or business. There are two incidents that bring this up. One of them are the Black Brunch protests performed by Black Lives Matter supporters, where they storm a business, begin chanting the names of dead black people, and shouting Black Lives Matter. They seem to think that they can do this and can't be kicked out until the police show up because a business is open to the public. Businesses are not public places. Private property rights remain in effect. Being open to the public means that the public can come in and conduct business with you. A business owner can still demand that you leave at any time. A business manager can demand that you leave at any time. And you have to leave, or they can force you to leave. They can push you out the door if they want to. In our lawsuit Happy Society today, the police will still be called so that there will be a witness that can say that you did not brutalize the person, so they can't claim you owe them $100,000 for the medical bills resulting from the injuries that they self-inflicted. The other incident was where Concerned Student 1950, a bunch of privileged college students who are upset about the fact that white people exist, asked someone to stop recording in a public place even though everyone was recording everyone else. Some brilliant people on the internet who have nothing better to do than argue legal points they know nothing about have claimed that wiretapping laws prevent this person from recording even though everybody else was recording and even though it was in a public place. It being public means wiretapping laws don't apply. But even if wiretapping laws did apply, because of the fact that people there were all recording with their phones, everybody had consented to be being recorded. Even in a two-party consent wiretapping state, you would be able to record there because people knew that they were being recorded. The people asking him to put down his recording equipment and turn it off were recording themselves. Eventually, after threatening to call the police and even pretending to call the police, they moved to a more private location. The interesting part of both of these incidents is that Black Lives Matter seems to think that the law only applies to them in a way that is convenient to their agenda. This couldn't be further from the truth, and I hope that we'll start seeing more and more incidents where Black Lives Matter learns the law the hard way.